Sorry about that. Uh, that is my family sending texts about our Christmas plans for tomorrow. And my sister's asking a very important question. Who's supplying the booze? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20 Stable. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue questing because that's kind of what you do now these days in 7 Days to Die Vanilla. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do that. We have a clear and retrieve supplies coming up. A couple things before uh, we get started. First of all, uh, for those of you who celebrated, I do want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, this episode should come out on Christmas Day. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy time with your friends and family, uh, eat lots of good food, get lots of fun presents, lots of loots, right? Some fat loots for Christmas and uh, just enjoy the holiday. Okay. So, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, I got a bunch of ammunition stuff cooking up in here. We need to be on the lookout for some coal for a coal node, uh, so that I can start making gunpowder. I have nit a nitrate node, but I don't have a coal node, so I don't have much coal for gunpowder. And, um, I have, we're doing pretty good on food. I've got two uh, full stacks plus two additional cornbread made up here. Uh, plus, we still have four boiled meat left and eight lamb rations, some yucca smoothies, and 41 more raw meat that we can still cook up. I'm kind of sitting on that, you know, in hopes that we can find some more eggs. So we're doing really good on food and water, so that's not a problem there. And uh, let's see, we have a point to spin. So let's go to strength and... We're going to put this last point in the sexy T, and there we go. We're now a cage gladiator. Uh, reduce melee and tool stamina usage by 25% and power attacks by 50%. Killing blows grant 30 stamina. Okay, so we got sexy T all the way up. Um, that's what we wanted to get. Uh, we want to do that. And uh, we have strength to 7, which is going to allow us to get... Oh, did they change this? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay, so we, we can get these all maxed out, uh, which we will do eventually. Um, you know, for that sort of thing. And then a skull crusher we'll put more points into as time goes on in Boomstick. When we're done with that, my plan at present is to switch over to Fortitude and start working the Fortitude tree so that we can get uh, Pain Tolerance, a Healing Factor, and the Brawler and Machine Gunner, all four of those in particular, um, maxed out uh, too. Okay, so that's the plan for our points uh, for the next few levels. Okay, so I think we're ready to go out and do our thing. Let's go ahead and throw back another cornbread to get our food topped off. And I think we're going to do a yucca juice smoothie because it just sounds delicious. And, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Okay, I don't think I have anything I need to sell to the vendor. Or maybe I do, actually. Let's. Uh, no, that's not true. I do have a couple things to sell to the vendor. Uh, so we'll stop by and do that. Plus, you know, we'll do our usual check the vending machine thing. So let's do the donut shop vending machine first. Um, and then by the time, oh shit, there's a wolf. Uh, we come back, we should be able to, uh, Trader Joel should be open so we can sell these other things. So actually, maybe we'll do the quest first and then go visit him. We'll see how things go. But anyways, let's go hit the donut shop vending machine first. Man, I don't know what it is about this vending machine, but every time I've checked it, it has lamb rations in it. That's just funny, man. It's good food, though. I'll take it. Okay, here's our quest location here. Uh, let's just do the usual where we'll put a secure storage chest down, because I'm sure we're going to need it, especially since... Uh, you know, we didn't uh, go sell the stuff at the trader, but I want to maximize our time here. Um, uh, whoops. Let's actually start the quest too. There we go. I think this would have been outside the radius, but just to be on the safe side, we'll put it out there. Um, let's put the money back in here for now. These are all the, th well, not all of this, but some of this stuff is what I want to sell to the trader. And then, as usual, we'll keep stuff back that we don't absolutely need with us immediately. We can come back and grab these things uh, if we need them as we go along. I think, uh, yeah, we can even keep the repair kits in here for now. Our pistol's about halfway down, but it'll probably, we should be able to get through this one POI 
Uh, first, we're we're kind of low on shotgun shells, so we need to be more conservative on those. We've got plenty of nines. We've got a decent amount of iron crossbows, and these we can easily remake. So we're going to do a little more crossbowing and try and be a little more stealthy this time than we were in yesterday's episode. I got a little cocky in yesterday's episode, and we survived it, but, man, I got the tar beat out of me. So, um, you know, we just need to be a little more careful than we were there. Okay, so this is a clear and a retrieve. Is this the right place? I guess it is, yeah. I think so. It's a little hard to tell anymore these days because, you know, things have changed so much with these POIs. Oh, you know what? We don't also need to take the shovel with us, so let's leave that behind for, for the nonce. And that'll free us up yet another slot. Uh, we're going to put that down there, keep the hammer there, and we'll just keep these guys handy in case we need them for something. I know the axe is better for removing these, but the hammer does it in two hits. And keeping the hammer on the toolbar is a little bit better because we can use it to repair with immediately if we have to. Okay, possibility that we could get some company from the ceiling. Um, but let's hop in here and close this door. Start with. And I think we're okay in this first room. There we go. Okay, one room down. Uh, let's check these. Okay, those we're just going to scrap. And that I'm not even going to do anything anything with. I'll, I'll get the, the brass lamp later. Hmm, okay. Pop this door open. Take a peek inside of here. Man, I have a feeling like an ambush is about to happen. I don't think anything will drop through that floor, but there's probably Zika Roos right around the corner just waiting to eat our face. Can we do this? That buys us a little time. Now I know they can, you know, they can crouch underneath, but they don't typically do that immediately. Um well, I suppose we could even just do this, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's check the locker, but the noise of that's probably gonna alert some um some bad guys or bad ladies nope uh those we'll probably hang on to and sell and we got another bdu is it any better than the one we currently have it's actually just a smidge worse i th wait 8.2 8.4 yeah um not really worth selling so we'll just scrap that okay Oh, by the way, when I went back and did uh, the looting of the, the two POIs just to get the basic stuff, I found a, a puffer coat. Uh, so now we have a puffer coat. So that gives us really good cold and heat resist. Okay. We'll take that. Don't care about that. Oh, boy. So we haven't got anybody's attention yet, huh? Let's try this. Wow. You know this is not good, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is just not a good situation. I'm going to throw that out there. Let's get these upgraded. And then and we'll poke our head through here and just see what's what. We, I feel a big ambush coming on you guys. A big one. Just don't know where it's going to come from. Um, all right, let's temporarily block this. And we'll check in this room first. You know how this game is, man, especially Alpha 20. For us not to encounter any resistance up to this point means we're really going to get thumped later on. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, there's nothing to loot in here. Uh, we could check these. Okay, this is not going to be better than our BDU. And again, not really worth taking up a slot to sell just for eight coin. Okay, so. Let's remove those.
Yeah. That that's see that's the thing. That's all triggered. That's not because I made too much noise. It's just triggered. <laughs> but that's the way it works. Okay, let's keep that upgraded and use our sledgehammer, conserve our ammo, and thump the ladies. The lady zombies, that is. <clears throat> we got we got smacked around there just a little bit. And there's still a zombo moving around, but I don't see a red dot, so it's probably an outside Zeke, I'm guessing. Okay, so we have an elevator shaft here. Does this work? Nope. We'll take it apart for some steel. All right, we might have Zeke's in here. Okay, so we just got the attention of two Zombos in there. Can we do the usual? Oh, they're actually smart enough to break the windows, huh? Making sure nothing's coming behind us here. All right, let's tap that and sledgehammer. Good. Okay. So far, so good. Um, let's poke our head in here. Looks like this room is clear as well. Okay, so we'll deal with this outside, Zeke. Um, all right, let's just help him break that. Okay, he's dead. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's check these rooms and see if there's anything we want to loop right at the moment. Mineral water is always good. Check for uh, wall safes. I haven't seen as many wall safes, it seems, at Alpha 20 as before. All the rest of that stuff will be off camera looting later. Um, we do have to get our satchel, which is right here. So we got that part done. Excelente. Nothing behind there. Okay, looks like that's about it for in here. And um, now it's time to go up. Did we look in here? Oh, we did not look in here. Any zombos behind the counter? Nope, we're good. All right, I don't think I'll loot anything in the kitchen for now. Uh, we'll check again. I'll just do that off camera because chances are it's just going to be basic stuff, whatever it is. <clears throat> okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, before we go all the way upstairs, uh, we still have, yeah, we can. we have this place to retreat to if we have to. Hold on a second, I'm getting... Right. I just got, um, somebody just texted me and then I heard footsteps coming from outside. Okay, yeah, so if the shit hits the fan, we retreat back through this door. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, that is my family... Sending texts about our Christmas plans for tomorrow. Uh, today's the 23rd. We're going to actually celebrate Christmas on the 24th on Christmas Eve instead of Christmas Day because it's just kind of what's going to work out with our schedules this time around. Um, and my sister's asking a very important question. Who's supplying the booze? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, priorities, right? Priorities. All right, so. This is a kind of a tough POI because of the fact that we don't have a lot of 
places we can barricade ourselves in. That door's locked. Might be a zombo in there or behind that corner. Okay, can we do the usual here? Just as to buy us a couple of moments. All right, let's check this. I just want to look through here for a second. Okay, I don't see anything in there. Uh, are those BDUs better than what we... Oh, we don't have BDUs on. Okay, so these are going to give better cold resist. But I think... I mean heat resist, but these are going to be better cold and there's not, there's like 0.4 difference. So yeah, we'll, we'll use those BDUs. Okay. All right. Where's the next batch? Okay. We got a, an open ceiling and we got a bunch of red dots. Okay. So why don't we put that down there? And upgrade that. Okay, we'll just have an Egger here. Okay, we got... Yeah, man, if we can get them to come one at a time, that would be ideal. Love it. Love the new crossbow. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, so there's only one more that we have to deal with, and it looks like it's in that room. Okay, let's um, let's break this. I just have this ready to go. Um, well, you know what? I'm assuming it's in the room. It could still be in the ceiling, huh? Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, they were in here, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I took care of him. Let's go take a quick look-see in here. Can we reach the toity from down here? Huh. -uh. What about up here? There we go. And we got some paper. Okay. Again, I'll check all the other stuff later. Uh, we should probably nerd pull up here and see if there's any loots up in the ceiling. So let's do that next. Oh, there's like a whole pathway up here. Okay, we haven't been... Wait, have we been in this room? No, I don't think we have. Looks like there's a ladder leading up here. So I think we have to come back up here later. So let's just keep following the path then. Okay, let's close that. Take a quick look in here. Oh, nice. Wow, really nice. Um, We might... Well, no, we won't. There's no might about it. We're going to actually put this on our hunting rifle. Fantastic. The scopes are just badass looking on these hunting rifles, man. I love it. I have one in, in the multiplayer server. Okay, well, it's good to know you can find scopes and lockers now. Usually you'd only be able to find clothes in there. Okay, let's proceed. Lots of places for ambushes to happen. That's how we get up into the ceiling. Okay. 
So I guess we're not getting ambushed in here. And we've already been up here. And we can't go that way. Okay. Oh, this is not good. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to drop down there and some Zeeks are going to come out of nowhere. Um, why don't we not play that game? Let's play the safe game here. We're not tough enough yet to play the dangerous game. Yeah, call me wuss if you want to, but I'd rather not die. We don't really need the hunting rifle on our toolbar inside. That's more for outside sniping and all. All right, let's poke our head in here and see if it triggers something. There's a Zombo right there. I don't think anything's going to pop out of the, the ceiling. So the question is, can we get to this door and close it before they come through? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so we're safe for the moment. Let's loot the bookshelves. Paper, paper, paper. No books, man. What the hell? Yeah, I guess that ladder's just to get up on the bookshelf. All right, we got a couple Zeeks, so let's upgrade that. Then that's how it's done. Okay. Most of the plugs I've found have garbage in them. Um, yeah, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, should be good. Possible zombos jumping out of this ceiling. You really want to start looking, looking up and... If possible, paying attention to the floor in Alpha 20 because of all the booby traps now. All right. That brings us out to here. Okay, that door we can open and close. So we have a place to retreat to. Let's look around this corner here. Oh, look at that. A pile of food. I'll take it. Um, I'm actually going to eat this right now. Just a little bit low on the food. Okay, so we have a place we can retreat to here. When the shit hits a fan, let's go up the stairwell. Okay, we're going to go out on a roof, so we could be dealing with buzzards. In fact, I think I heard the telltale wing flap. Yeah, there's a buzzard there, and it looks like a jiggly. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's take them out. So we got two zombos and a buzzard. No, three zombos and a buzzard. Okay, we got a Ronnie McD here. Man, look at this crossbow just kicking ass and taking names. Well, more like kicking heads and taking names, but you know what I mean. That one 
We were a little high on. There we go. That's it. Woot. It's a straight shooter, man. That is a straight shooter. I so much love the crossbow in this game. I always have. Always have. All right. Let's see what we get for some fat loots here. That's all really good stuff. Wow. Yeah, I'll take all that. Uh, bandages would be nice. Not those kind. A little bit of ammunition, and we've got a um, an ergonomic grip on, which is perfect for our sledge. Let's scrap this. Uh, let's check these two boxes and then the fat loots. Okay, craft robotic turret shells. Sure, why not? I don't know if we'll actually get into those, but we might. Uh, stun batons degrade 20% slower. Oh, and robots, okay. Uh, timer relay schematic, and we'll take that. Let's get the giblets out of this guy. And now for the fat loots. Come on, give us something good. Uh, okay, shotgun shells and a large medikit. I classify that as pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. All right. Guys, uh, you know the drill. I'm going to go back to the trader. Uh, we'll do the turn-in. We'll take another quest, and we have lots of time to get another one knocked out today. So I will meet you at the trader. I will, you know, I'll do the basic looting of this place later off camera as usual. Okay, let's see what the vending machine has. We got a can of miso, some eye candy. I'll take that. We're going to leave the rest of that stuff. I actually have some eye candy back at the base. I need to start remembering to take that. But on the other hand, it might be better for us to hang on to it until we start getting into the better loot, too. You've made my day. Another hunting Very rifle, huh? Payment. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take that because that's going to be worth the most money. Uh, we get 1,400 dukes and a little over 5,000 XP. And we are done with Tier 2, you guys. Look at that. Okay. Mining helmet bundle, cloth armor bonus, cobblestone variable shape helper, dukes casino, 5,000 dukes. Wow. Or ranged mods bundle. <sighs> um, I mean, it's we're either going to take the dukes or the ranged mods. Oh, man, that's a hard one. I, I don't know exactly what's in here. Um, a, a bundle of random ranged mods. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. I mean, 5,000 coin is nice, but we can make 5,000 coin. So, yeah, let's take that. Okay. Special jobs. Opening I trade routes. Some help Another trader troll up north. Okay, so we'll no take that. What, I'm grateful for everything you've done. That's 2.4 clicks away. Let's go back into your inventory now, and we want to sell some things to you. This hunting rifle, oh yeah, that is actually better than our current hunting rifle, I think. Well, there's always Let's take the mod the off of here just to make sure league. that we are looking. This is actually inferior damage-wise. See, I thought, they, I thought they fixed that so that wouldn't happen. So a higher quality item was not worse than a lower quality, but apparently that's not the case. I mean, this one has a little more range and durability, but it's the it's significantly lower in damage. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep the orange one then. Uh, let's open this up, too, just see what's in there. Ooh, we got a silencer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was worth the price of admission. Absolutely worth the price of admission. Okay. I'm very happy that, uh, that I did that. And then I guess we could put... We shouldn't be able to put this on the... On this but let's just see if it lets us Ooh, it does let us really okay um I'll take it that just increases the damage of our shoddy okay let's go here and we're gonna we're gonna sell some stuff oh nice we got one of those too now, we can't use that on a crossbow though but that's okay okay so let's sell these and this all of this stuff here and I guess we're selling this hmm that's too bad, but, you know, it is what it is. If, if it's not as strong, it's not as strong. That's just all there is to it. Uh, we'll keep this in case we do find a really good bow that we revert back to for now. And let's look at 
his inventory. I can't remember the last time he restocked. Got a motorcycle for 27000 It's kind of expensive right now. Got a yellow wrench, Lucky Looter, Volume 4. Find more lead and loot. No, that's just about as worthless as worthless can get. And sawed off shotgun on. Okay, let's look at his normal inventory. We could buy some more nines in... I think we will. Armor piercing. Yeah, that's going to be probably just a tad expensive for us right now. Could buy the pipe bombs, but we can make pipe bombs. So let's not do that. Armor pocket mod would be kind of nice. It's got a crap machete. Shotgun parts. Those are kind of tempting. Okay, that's all the stuff that I sold them. Much obliged. Stranger. Um, did we find the pump shotgun? No, we didn't. I'm thinking in the of uh, uh, the multiplayer game where I found that. Okay, well let's just remember that he has those parts. Um, he also had. Where does he keep parts at? Yeah, the parts aren't under. The ammo and weapons. Um, where are they? Not under building, chemicals, food. Resources. They're under resources. That's interesting. Okay. So uh, that's why I couldn't find those ones before that I was looking for. So he's got more handgun parts and shotgun parts. And you'll keep those till day 16. So I'll Sorry, just keep that in mind. You, um, well, you know, if we need that. Okay. So... Uh, opening trade routes. Let's see. Let's look at the map. Where is that at? It's to the north. It's a decent ways up there. But yeah, I don't know, man. Let's let's go up there and do, let's just do it. And if nothing else, it opens up a new trader to us, and we can see what inventory they have. And since Jen's along the way, we'll just stop off and uh, also check her out, her inventory out. That is. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't come out right. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, I'll do a little bit of hunting along the way, too. So I'll meet you at Trader Jen's first. And then after Trader Jen's, we will um, go up to opening trade routes, get that done, and then we'll see where we are with our time. I think, too, I'm going to take my armor off just so we can. I need to do some repairing of this armor, uh, move more quickly. Or not move more quickly, but uh, not run out of stamina as quickly. Okay, let's check Trader Chin's uh, inventory. We'll take the Yucca Smoothie. And I think we'll actually take the health bar, too. We'll leave everything else in there for now. If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so she's got a burning shaft mod, which would be kind of nice. Lever action rifle. Uh. Six rounds in the magazine. It does 70.3 damage, which is mm, about, uh, which is more than this without the mod on it. That's tempting, actually. I mean, we have over 10,000 coin. Let's keep that one in mind. Uh, and an iron fire axe. Okay, let's look at normal stash. I think I'm going to buy her gunpowder, because I just can't really make it yet. Got an iron sledge. Um, yeah, let's buy it. It's going to be a little better than what we have. I'm not using the sledge constantly, plus we have maxed out Sexy T now anyways. She's got some shotgun parts too. Nerdies would be nice to have for Horde Knight. Uh, we'll eventually come across those, though, so I think I'm going to hold off on buying them. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I think I want this. But what I'm going to do is let's check the other trader first before we blow that much money on this. And if the other trader doesn't have something we want, we'll come back and, and get this from Not her. That was a good deal. Um, Trust me. Yeah, okay. So let's head up to the next trader. Okay, here we are at Trader Joel in the north. Let's grab, I uh, guess we don't need anything out of there. Check the food first. Let's grab a sugar butts um, because we can use it on the, uh, you know, to buy that lever action rifle and get a little bit better price on it. go down with that sickness uh, let's check this stuff really quick oh nice it's a pretty decent little pile of lootskies there uh, we'll take the coal and I think that's all we can loot in this place okay we'll take the oil Let's check your rack here. Okay, we'll probably just end up selling all that stuff back to him. What are, what are we wearing for chest piece? Oh, that is an actual uh, chest upgrade. What's up, buddy? Well earned, traveler. There we well go. Earned. We have... Fi Wait, did we finish it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So we are now in tier three. Um, oh, and we can get tier threes from him, but we're not going to, of course, because he's he's way too far away. But let's do check his inventory. We'll look at uh, secret stash first. Robotic drone medic mod schematic. We are going to have to try the drones out, just because they're they're new and they do kind of appeal to me a little bit. Honey from trees. That's always a good one, but I don't know that I want to spend money on that. Okay, let's look at normal stash here. I'm going to buy these eggs, man. Those are cheap. We do need some 7.62s. Um, is that going to give us enough money to still get that other thing? I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. Unless we, unless we take the sugar butts, then it might. Got a puffer coat. Okay, that's it. Um, all right. I don't remember exactly how much that lever action rifle was. I think it was like five, it was over 5,000. So if we take this. Pleasure doing business with you. What we're going to do is we're going to buy, um, here. We're going to buy, we're going to make sure we keep 6,000 coin with us, basically. Okay, let's put that in there temporarily. We'll buy as many 7.62s as we can. All right, 95 is a good number. Let's buy 95. 
great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. Okay, we got to get back to Trader Chin before nightfall and get that lever action rifle. I'll see you guys back over there. Okay. Meds, drugs, booze. I've got it all. Meds, drugs, and booze. You got it all. Was that? Yeah, that was in secret stash. We can get it for 4608 because we took the pill. So, yeah, let's buy this. Boom. Uh, we are going to sell this to her. These we should fix up first before we sell them. And I don't think I want to sell anything else to her. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Okay, so let's um modify this, take this off. So this has a range of 60. That's a has a range of 69. So this is a little further, but this does more damage and has six in the magazine. Right. Oh, and this has, well, I guess the hunting rifle doesn't even have rounds per minute because I, I don't know why it doesn't. It should. It's just really super slow. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's modify this. We'll put this on here. And now this is our new hunting weapon. I love it. Okay, cool. I like it, man. I like it. All right. Uh, I think what we'll do, too, uh, we might as well sell the hunting rifle back to her. Um, because we don't really need it now. We, I, I don't see a need for it at this point. So, yeah. All, all right. right then. <laughs> we have both said all right at the same time. All right, you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, once I'm done editing this video that we are going to be out of time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you all go here. I'm going to go back to the base, uh, get all my inventory management stuff sorted out, and then probably do some mining overnight. And then uh, tomorrow, in game tomorrow, we will. Ooh, in game tomorrow is day 14, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we need, we need to take a look at our horde base. I'm not really planning on doing much different with it. I think it'll be okay again uh, for 14. But, um, you know, I'm going to take a look at it and see if there's a couple things we could maybe shore up on it a little bit. Uh, the problem is, is I don't really have concrete. I've got lots of cobblestone, but I don't have a lot of concrete. Uh, you know what? I should have been looking. Oh, man. Should I buy concrete? Yeah... Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go all the way back to nor Northern Trader Joe, but I'm gonna go back to Jen, see if she has any concrete. I wasn't even looking for it. Uh, and anyway, yeah. So day 14 tomorrow. If I bring you guys back before the horde night, we'll just do another quest. I might not. I might take a day off, and get, make sure the horde base is ready to go, and just do some some mining and some wood cutting and some, you know some stuff like that. And then bring you guys back when Horde 14 starts. I haven't decided that yet for sure. So you'll know when you know <laughs> when it happens, right? All right, you guys. Thanks for watching again. For all of you who do celebrate Christmas, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Have lots of fun with your friends and family. Enjoy them. Uh, your family's the most important thing you have in this life. Uh, at least I believe that. And uh, just enjoy them as best as you can. Well, in all their imperfections. So uh, I don't even know why I'm starting to talk of this, but hey, it's Christmas, right? Um, and yeah, just have a great time, guys. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you get some lots of fat loots for Christmas and eat some good food, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.